You're watching San Francisco Rising with Chris Manners. Today's special guest is Katie Tang. Hi, I'm Chris Manners, and you're watching San Francisco Rising, the show that's focused on restarting, rebuilding, and reimagining our city. Our guest today is Katie Tang, the executive director of San Francisco's Office of Small Business, and she's with us to talk about how the city is providing services and financial assistance to local businesses. Ms. Tang, welcome. Hello, and thank you for having me on your show. Well, it's nice to see you. Can we start with an overview of the role and the functions of the Office of Small Business? Many small businesses are struggling at the moment. How can your team help? The Office of Small Business is part of the city's Office of Economic and Workforce Development, and we are here as the city's central point of information for all things related to small businesses. So we can help people start, stay, and grow in the city. So if you want to start a new business, uh, you can come to us and we can pair you up with uh, business advisors who can talk you through your business plan, help you develop it, um, help you understand what it would take to start a business, whether it's uh, regarding regulatory requirements, licenses, permits, um, and just help you understand the journey that is um, up ahead. And if you'd like to stay in San Francisco and perhaps your business is facing challenges, uh, we can also pair you with a business advisor who can assess uh, your business needs and figure out what it is that uh, would best help you. So, for example, perhaps you need um, more marketing assistance uh, or you need to be uh, connected to a loan, a low interest loan or a grant program if those are available. Those are uh, services we can provide to you, whether you're starting out or trying to stay in San Francisco. And then, of course, if you want to expand and grow into a new space, we can also assist with that and help you understand, again, the journey that's ahead. Uh, we have a team dedicated to assisting businesses with all the permitting needs, helping you to understand uh, what it is that different city agencies require for you to be able to establish your business in San Francisco. Do you have a multilingual staff who can help our ESL residents and business owners? Our office does offer um, services in different languages. We currently have staff who can speak Spanish and also Chinese, so that's Mandarin and Cantonese. And we totally understand that when it comes to trying to navigate our complicated uh, city regulations, that uh, if English is not your first language, it can be very difficult. So we want to be as helpful as possible. Excellent. Let's talk about a couple of specific programs. I know that SF Shines was initially created to help with storefront improvements like restoring old neon signs. How is the program operating now? That's right. SF Shines, which is a program that is run out of our sister division uh, called Invest in Neighborhoods at the Office of Economic and Workforce Development, is a program that is much needed in the small business community. So if you are trying to improve your storefront, uh, whether it's outside, perhaps you want to make some interior improvements, a lot of times that involves a lot of cost and resources to be able to do so. For example, you may need to hire an architect to help you uh, submit drawings so that you can apply for a permit to get your work done. Currently, the SF Shines program um, is offering a pairing of professional design services. So if you are a small business, you're eligible and you qualify, then you could be paired up with an architect who can help you uh, produce the drawings needed in order to get your permits to do the actual work. Um, at various points of the year, there may be different versions of SF Shines. Uh, for example, it could be just a reimbursement uh, for work that you've done to improve your storefront. Uh, so we hope that people will uh, stay tuned um, and you can find out more information on our website. That's sf.gov slash OSB uh, to find out more information about these various uh, programs available. Let's talk about the Shared Spaces program. It's been a great success and outdoor dining options are very popular. How is that program evolving? The Shared Spaces program was so critical during the pandemic and really helped so many businesses survive, especially restaurants, uh, coffee shops. Uh, for there to be that outdoor space where people could safely gather uh, was so critical. And so uh, at this point in time, the planning department has been working with various small businesses that established these shared spaces during the pandemic. Some may or may not have been up to the city's uh, code regulations. And so the planning department and other city agencies such as public works and fire department are all working together uh, to figure out what um, some of those violations are and try to support the businesses in coming into compliance 
We just had a program that closed uh, where planning department was offering grants to small businesses uh, and they could apply for money to take their, uh, their shared spaces and, and make them code compliant. And so the planning department and the city have decided that they'll give businesses until about April of 2023 uh, to come into compliance. And also in the meantime though, uh, for businesses that want to start new uh, shared spaces, new parklets, that is still an ongoing uh, basis, an ongoing program. And so people can always submit their applications for shared spaces, uh, regardless of whether they started one during the pandemic or not. Do you anticipate there being other grant programs for shared spaces in the future? And how would somebody go about finding out about them? Small businesses can find out more information about shared spaces, whether it's grant funding to help you come into compliance for your existing space or to create a new one by visiting our website, sf.gov OSB, or you can contact our office at 415-554-6134, and we can connect you with information from the planning department and other agencies that would be involved with the shared space. On a darker note, some small businesses have suffered from vandalism like graffiti and broken windows. How is the city helping the victims of these crimes? It truly is unfortunate that people feel that they can vandalize um, you know, other people's properties. And so the city does offer a grant program. It's called the Vandalism Relief Fund. And this would allow for businesses that have been hit with whether graffiti or broken window uh, to apply for a reimbursement from the city through our Invest in Neighborhoods division. And you could get up to either $1,000 or $2,000 as long as you submit some information, for example, a photo of the damage or a police report, as well as an invoice for the uh, payment that you um, uh, paid for correcting uh, or addressing the vandalism. So that is currently available until funds run out. Finally, the new permit center at 49 South Van Ness is a great new building. Can you tell me a little bit about the operations there and how it functions? We are so excited that the city now has a centralized permit center where people can come and get their business done, hopefully in the same day, uh, where there are several different agencies uh, ranging from Department of Building Inspection, Planning Department, Department of Public Health, Fire Department, all here to help uh, people, whether you're building a new business or even new construction, uh, to be able to, again, uh, fit all of your appointments in one day and get things done quickly. So starting in May, our Office of Small Business has actually started working out of 49 South uh, Van Ness at the Permit Center. And we have a team of two staff who are dedicated to helping small businesses through their permitting journey. And so we do encourage people, you could either come to the Permit Center or you can also email us at sfosb at sfgov.org and set up an appointment or even just communicate with our staff dedicated to helping you with your permitting needs. And we really hope that people will consider consulting with us before even signing a lease so that we can really set you on the path for success and so that we help you understand what is needed in your journey to starting a business in San Francisco. Oh, that's great. Everything is all in one place now. We certainly hope to make it more efficient for everyone. So, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming on the show, Ms. Tang. Thank you for the time you've given us today. Thanks for having me. And that's it for this episode. We'll be back with another one shortly. You've been watching San Francisco Rising. For SFGov TV, I'm Chris Manners. Thanks for watching.